So our friend Barb has been calling in. She became our friend. She called in. She said that she's part of a 100-day challenge to learn a new skill or hone a talent. She decided to learn to play the ukulele. She practices every day, posts every day about it, checks in with us every Monday. So what day are we on now, Barb? 72. So have, it, you missed, have you missed a day? I have not. I I didn't think I was going to post every day, but once I was on a roll, I decided I'm just going to do it no matter what. So here I am. Do you um, are you impressing yourself? I mean, are you pleased to see that you are learning to play the ukulele? Um, some days I'm thrilled. Other days I kind of struggle not liking anything I do. So. Um, but most days are good days, so. The ukulele looks to me like an easier instrument to learn. It's not the piano, it's not a guitar right. with six strings. Right. There are fewer frets, right? So right. It, it is easier to pick up that way, right? Right, and that and that's why I chose it. Um, I, go, <laughs> I go, really, I googled what the easiest in, instrument to learn without being able to read music. Um, it was after... I was it was I was dealing with chemo brain and my fingers were um, stiff from side effects so I needed to learn something new and have something to do with my hands so that's how I started playing I don't think you told us that that was your motivation no I don't think I don't think that's come up yet <laughs> well do you mind um, so how are you doing you always sound healthy and chipper what's your prognosis here um, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm on a maintenance treatment, um, stage four ovarian cancer. So, you know, it doesn't sound great. Um, and cancer is going to come back at some point, but you know, it is what it is. And I, I just do what I can. So, um, so far so good. So one day at a time. Well, this is interesting, Barb, you have been such a fun inspiration for all of us and now doubly so <laughs> since you've been keeping that quiet but have just been selflessly spreading some happiness and joy and music across the airwaves i had no idea that was the backstory huh. well ukulele is the is the focus not the cancer i mean you know there are worse things than cancer so like bad you like bad ukulele <laughs> yeah. playing yeah, like missing a note. <laughs> uh, well, listen, uh, God bless you. My best to your health and mm -hmm. your continued progress up and down the ukulele uh, neck there. So, uh, you're go <laughs> so you're going to do the theme from The Godfather, for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I tend to challenge myself, so... But, I guess. I but, mean, when you think of the ukulele, you don't think of The Godfather. And when you think of The Godfather, you don't think of the ukulele. Right. Okay, Barb. Let's uh, let's hear some of it anyway. All right. Here we go. that <laughs> that may be your best yet that yeah was, i'm hearing market improvement i was thinking the same thing bob i mean first of all barb we recognize the tune so <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> and that's lovely on the ukulele shut my mouth that was that was apropos it was terrific yeah yeah i, I i've enjoyed just exploring what this instrument can do so so yeah, I, I've stumbled across so many things. It's amazing. Yeah. Here, here, see, Bertrand's not here today, and if he were, you know, I, he would be saying something catty and snide, and I'd be <laughs> reprimanding him, or, or maybe I would be doing it, and he would be reprimanding me, but 
I think I speak for Bob, Steve, and I when I say you are on your way. That was really, really good. Well, thank you. Okay, um, so now uh, Steve's not here to ask you to do something, you know, obtuse, but I'm sure you'll come up with another tune for us next week. I will. Okay, let's talk on Monday. Thank you, Barb. Okay, thanks, John.